fall's my favorite season because that's when my best friend comes back from summer vacation. My best friend TV. <laughs> and I can't wait for the return of my favorite gay soap opera. Maybe you guys caught last season's finale. They called it the Super Bowl. <laughs> now, some people say that football isn't gay, but I ask you, when a man can be characterized as a ball magnet and he's praised for his ball handling skills and he gets in trouble for holding other men? Isn't that a little gay? I say it's totally gay. I say football, it's a hot, hot tale of forbidden love. You know? It's romantic at times when they strive to penetrate each other's defenses. It gets kinky when they deal out severe punishments. And then sometimes it's playful when they splash each other with Gatorade. And if you're still not convinced, I'll ask you this. Who but a gay man goes out in public wearing sparkly skin-tight knickers? <laughs> I've only seen that a couple of places. The NFL and gay dance clubs. <laughs> and I used to get paid to watch. Because I used to type closed captions for the hearing impaired. And for me, that was a great job. Why? I was paid to sit alone in the dark all night watching TV, which I was doing at the time for free. <laughs> Only problem with that job is I am a writer, so I like to edit things. So when the refs would say, holding, that's what I would have to type. And holding is a fine word, but you know and I know there's got to be a better one. Like cuddling, <laughs> or snuggling, fondling, or caressing, or why must you punish us for our love? <laughs> or when the refs do this thing, I was supposed to type false start, so I did. But wouldn't it have been more fun if I could have typed out of my way, bitches, I just gotta dance? <laughs> I think so. I mean, don't get me wrong. I think it's great that guys like football. I think it's so cute. Like, for example, my little brother, a Chicago Bears fan. Why? Because he's loved teddy bears ever since he was a little boy. That's real cute. My friend Tony, a Chicago Bears fan, why? Cause he loves the big hairy gay men who call themselves bears, and he always has, ever since he was a little boy. And that's real cute too. I guess what I'm saying is in every gay relationship, somebody's gotta be the quarterback and somebody's gotta be the wide receiver. I'm Elizabeth Sass, thanks for listening you guys.